what is going on everyone my name is KKC and welcome to the channel so in today's video we are going to take a look at the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War season 3 roadmap and I'm just going to touch upon the severe lack of content that this season release brings so if you like these types of videos if you like informative slash ranty videos about call of duty make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video if you enjoy the video make sure to drop a like on it down below let me know your thoughts on the release of season three down in the comments and on the topic of staying tuned as always feel free to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest call of duty news tips and tricks how to's class setups and much more let's press x to start and roll the video so guys, Season 3, a new era in the fight begins on April 22nd. It's now the 24th of April and I'm making this video about the roadmap. Why? Because I'm pissed off. I am pissed off at the lack of content the Call of Duty are bringing to their normal 6v6 games. The gameplay you see up on screen is on the new map. Yamantar. I only played one half. I only played one half of this. I got enough. I, I, I'd had enough. I'd had enough. I played one and a half and I thought, that's it. Okay, I did pretty well. I think the skill-based matchmaking was kind to me because I haven't played Cold War in a long time. I think they wanted to entice me back and I thought, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not selling my soul. I'm not letting them get away with this. So I'm going to keep this. The gameplay is half. The gameplay is half a game. And that's how long I'm going to give this video and this rant. So where do we start? So let's start off with the... the the main focus point for these roadmaps and that's the war zone all they give you here is the war zone map update and the war zone event hunt for adler so we don't really need to concern ourselves with these when we're talking about call of duty cold war so the next main thing on the roadmap we're going to look at is the multiplayer maps when they do this they make it look like they're bringing more content than they actually are and what do i mean by this well they're bringing two maps in season two of the maps aren't actually launching with the release of season three so yamintar 6v6 and diesel 6v6 and 2v2 these are the two maps that are launching with season three yamintar is obviously the gameplay that you see up on screen this map's okay it's okay but it's nothing special it, it almost feels like a summit it almost feels like a summit failed copy it plays okay, it's an okay Call of Duty map, it's actually a lot smaller than it seems, I'm not sure whether they intended it to be that small, it's basically very, it's basically three very narrow lanes and a middle point, and that's pretty much it, and it's okay, it's okay, it runs well, it plays well, and that's pretty much all I can say about it, Diesel, 6v6 and 2v2, now I haven't actually played the map because the main playlist for this week is the Diesel 2v2 face off, and I don't really want to be playing the face off playlist the 2v2 face off map for season 3 is the smaller version of the diesel 6v6 map i find that awfully lazy they're killing two birds with one stone there and they're trying to make it look like oh well we we're bringing two versions of this map yeah you just put some barriers around the side and calling it an extra map that's that's lazy and I, d I don't i don't like what that stands for i don't like it i don't like it and speaking of stuff that I don't like, why they put the in-season content on the roadmap, I do not know. Standoff and Dugger or Duga, these are going to come with the mid-season event or the reloaded. These, that's when these are going to come. So why put them on the release roadmap? I don't get it, but I do kind of get it because they need people... They want to entice people to come back. They want to bulk the roadmap poster out to make it look like they're actually bringing more in. And talking about bringing more in, they are certainly not bringing any players back to the zombies side of things, updating the outbreak stuff and not touching the normal zombies. We only have two zombies maps and the only thing that they've decided to do is give you a new field upgrade. If I was a Call of Duty Zombies fan, I would be very, very annoyed because I think the general population doesn't really like Outbreak. You guys are going to have to help me out on that one. You're going to have to let me know down in the comments below if you are Outbreak fans. But I've seen a lot of stuff saying that people don't want to play Outbreak. So why put so much effort into adding content to Outbreak? There's a massive, massive shortage of people playing this game anyway. And you're focusing on stuff that even less people are playing. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And a quick thing about putting the focus in the wrong place. Why are they still bringing in multi-team maps and multi-team game modes? I just... I don't get it. The Call of Duty franchise and Activision are gonna... They're gonna be at a crossroads in either this year or next year. They're gonna hit the mark. They're gonna hit a crossroads where they choose, right, what do we focus on? Warzone or 6v6? And maybe they've already hit... Maybe they've already hit that barrier. 
because they're certainly not focusing on the 6v6 side of the Call of Duty franchise. But then why are they focusing on the multi-team side, which is kind of like an in-between between Warzone and the 6v6? I don't get it. People like Call of Duty for the 6v6 side of things. Keep it simple, keep it 6v6 and focus on that. Bring more remade maps out. Bring more maps out in general. Bring in one map out every two months. That's, that's bad. And when the game only started with a few maps, we need more maps. If you want people to play the game, you need to start bringing out more maps. Talking about more people playing the game, the PPSH and the Swiss K3 one. So these are the two guns that are coming with the launch of Season 3. And you can pick up the Carve, the Carve V2 or the Garve V2. You can actually pick that up in Warzone at the moment. I haven't seen much on the AMP. I can't really see. Let me zoom in. AMP 63. Yeah, so the Carve 2 and the AMP 63. So you can use the Carve 2 in Warzone. That seems okay. Three round burst. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But the PPSH 41 and the Swiss K3 one, I don't think they're meta weapons. And they've done this thing again where they've brought two new weapons out and meh. No one's really going to use them because they don't compete with the meta, so what's the point? PPSH still doesn't compete with the likes of the MAC-10, the Bullfrog, so what's the point? What's the point levelling it up? I was going to level it up in Cold War, but if it's not going to be as good as the Bullfrog, then what's the point? I'll just use the Bullfrog that I've already got levelled up. Same with the Swiss K31, unless it's going to be much better than the Car 98K. There'll be no point. And just to round off the video, I'm not even going to touch upon the multiplayer modes or the score stream. I think that's just pathetic to put on the front of the roadmap or the poster. And they've added new prestige levels. Season 3 Reloaded will come at some point. Two new operators for now. One is already in Modern Warfare, so thanks guys. You've added one operator, really, Wraith, which is the one that you get when you buy the Battle Pass at the start. And there's two more coming in season, most likely with the Season 3 Reloaded. I'm not going to touch upon the prestige levels or the leveling system. I have a video on that. I'll leave a link down in the description below where I discuss how pathetic the leveling system is in the 6v6 Call of Duty side of things because there is no incentive to play this game at this moment in time. There we are, guys. That is my opinion on Cold War. Let me know your thoughts on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you really want to play Outbreak? Do you really want to play the multi-team? Do you enjoy those things? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, feel free to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, how-tos, class setups, and much more. Thank you, bro.